welcome 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 back to another video where i just ask you just to put me on in the background and listen to me yeah it's it's when i do videos all the time i just like to draw have stuff playing in the background so if you do it with me it's fine i just want to start off by saying i'm super appreciative like i can't even explain how appreciative i am for you guys being here all the time but not only that i'm super appreciative for the companies who are actually like reaching out to me wanting me to use their products i just got this tablet the dope people at funzy sent me a tablet it's like a little it's like a little tab i'm gonna be honest straight off the jump i'm gonna say this tablet is not for me i would not have gotten this tablet for myself after coming from like a giant drawing tablet that i have but it's crazy to me thinking about that time when i got the pencils and i was like i was literally in the market for a new tablet for my son because I was gonna get him an iPad, but I was just thinking like an iPad's probably like overkill for him because he just wants to doodle and play some games or something like that. So I was looking into the an XP pen, like the new one that's just, just like a tablet. And then this company reached out to me and asked me if I could try theirs on. I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it, but I'm gonna give you my honest review. And I'm telling you right now, this tablet is not for me. I'm just not used to like Android and it doesn't have procreate and procreate's my thing but i tried out tons of drawing apps on. i tried out like four maybe and i was just trying to get into that flow and i just couldn't and if you're using like a drawing thing right now don't you i don't recommend getting this one but if you're in the market for a drawing tablet for like a niece a nephew a son a brother even like somebody who just casually doodles i would say this is dope this is a dope one it's super affordable it's not expensive at all it's like 150 bucks which is crazy to me um i'm thinking about getting my niece and my nephew two of my nieces two of my nephews they all draw i would get them these ones they don't have ipads i think this would be perfect for them they could just draw use sketchbook pro and go crazy but for me it's not for me but i'm gonna show you guys what i did with it it was, it was just hard to get into like a flow state and just work i was constantly like running into some problems i just i hated it. it was frustrating me so thank you for being here thank you for watching thank you funzy for the uh tablet um i appreciate it so much i hope you guys like my review i try to talk about things that bothered me and things that i liked but it's a pretty cool tablet maybe give it a look or just check out my review and tell me what you guys think in the comments First thing I want to talk about is shipping. The shipping was so fast. They emailed me, and then the next day, the package was already on my doorstep. And uh, I was telling my son about it. I was like, "Yo, you got yourself a new tablet, buddy. What you think?" And he was like, super happy. He wanted me to open it like right away. So I didn't really get to capture me unboxing everything because he was literally just yapping my ear off, telling me to open it. But I like the packaging. Packaging is way better than I expected. I watched a couple other reviews. The packaging looked different from the one that they sent me, but I think this is our updated packaging. I can't even explain to you how excited he was when he saw me opening it and taking out the uh, all the little accessories that go to it. I don't know why he was like excited about all the accessories, but then when he saw the little gloves and the, the little wipers, he went crazy over that because he sees me using my tablet and my glove thing all the time on my bigger uh, drawing tablet. And so he's like, is that for me? Is that for me? I'm like, yeah, it's yours. Take it. Get out of my face. But I thought it was cool. It came with its own little case. It's super. The case is crazy durable. My son dropped it already like three times and the case is indestructible. It's like adamantium or something like that. But it came with the case, the pen, uh, extra battery, uh, the drawing glove, the cleansing cloth thing, and then the USB-C and then the wall charger and then a bunch of little booklets and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys care about the booklets, but it also had this little cleansing brush thing. I haven't used it yet. I haven't even opened it, but I don't see myself using it. Another thing is like, I'm happy they included another battery battery but the whole battery and the stylus thing kind of i don't understand it like why it doesn't make sense to me but then again i'm coming from like ipads and stuff like that where it's just automatically recharges on your ipad but then again this is like 75 percent cheaper than a damn ipad so i'm happy for that and i'm uh, super appreciative they included the extra battery thank you for the extra battery but but putting a battery or status thing I, I i don't get it i'm just thinking about when you're traveling with this and just say you don't realize your battery's gonna die and your battery dies while you're traveling and let's say you're like a uh, camping or something like that you can't there's nowhere you're gonna get batteries that's that's my only that's just a big gripe i have but come prepared i guess bring extra batteries that's the only way around it all right here i am finally turning this thing on um could just be me i don't know what happened i turned it on and i started the process to like load up the whole tablet and it took like 
20 30 minutes for this thing to start and i don't know why i think i might have done something wrong in the beginning but here's a live reaction of me trying to press buttons like that and nothing was working so i don't know if this was just my tablet that i got because i watched tons of reviews and this didn't happen to nobody else so i think it's just i think it maybe was just my wi-fi i didn't have a chance to connect it to wi-fi so i don't know if it was just something in my area i don't know what it could have been but it was not working and i was sitting here tapping in i was reading the manual and it says that you could reset it in the back so i pressed the button in the back and i was literally sitting on this screen for a good 30 minutes i recorded the whole thing i'm not gonna include the whole thing because it's literally just me doing this tapping forever and looking for little secret buttons and all that but i reset it multiple times and i did like a hard reset thing where i held down like the power and the volume and all that stuff and it finally like worked after this little white screen with the spinning circle it would reset go back to that blue screen and then the white screen and then finally it just like after multiple reset i think i held down the reset button for like a good 30 seconds and then it finally went back to the very like main menu and i was able to connect to my wi-fi and all that i get i have this too yep it's all yours <laughs> so i got past that screen after like 10 minutes of, uh, resetting it over and over again now i'm on the wi-fi screen and it froze on the Wi-Fi screen. Uh, I'm giving you my honest reactions. This is just ha is happening. I just opened it, and uh, I mean, I watched a lot of reviews on this. It's supposed to be a good, uh, supposed to be a good budget tablet, like for beginning artists. And that's my plan. I was, I was gonna use it for my son to uh, practice drawing. He uses my iPad, but sometimes I want to use. Oh, it restarted again. Uh, and we're back to the, uh, spinning wheel of death, I guess. This is where it's been for, like, oh. Let me sign in. Okay, I signed into my Wi-Fi, and it is still... Spinning ring of death is getting a tablet ready. It may take a few minutes. Okay, I'm trusting the process. It's been longer than a few minutes. I kind of feel like giving up. Honestly, it's just, it was just, like, taking way too long, and I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't, I was like, I, I got things to do, man. I couldn't, I couldn't be doing it, but I'm sticking with it. Um, I appreciate them sending me this. I thought it was going to be able to just turn on and go crazy drawing, but uh, they didn't, I didn't control it yet. So we'll see. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, we did it. Okay, transfer data. Don't copy. Let's just get this. Let's just start. I'm just going to start it up and start drawing, and I'll let you guys know how it goes from there, because this is taking too long, okay? Okay, there's like a little bit of a delay or what do they call it? A parallax. I can feel it. I mean, coming from iPad and Wacom though, it's like to be expected. But I think if this was like my first tablet, I think it would this, I wouldn't even notice. I'm getting a little bit of wobbling. I'm gonna download a new app. I think I'm gonna download Metabang or ebis or whatever it's called and just play around and i'm gonna try to do a drawing on this and then i will let you guys know my final thoughts i'm gonna play i'm gonna play with this for like a week uh i'll give you guys my final thoughts let you guys know if it's worth it should you grab one um who i think this is for and all that stuff so i'll get back to you guys in a week well for you it won't be a week for me it'll be a week for you it'll be Right now, maybe, I guess. Okay, see you in a minute. So I doodled with this thing for about a week and I decided to take it with us on this little trip to the water that we did. Uh, my son's been sketching crazy. He did a couple sketches for me. I was trying out different programs, but I think Sketchbook is the one I kept going back to because that's the app that came with the tablet. So I decided just to use what it came with basically my favorite app for android has to be clip studio paint but that whole like subscription thing i'm not with the subscription stuff so sketchbook was good i love sketchbook it's not it was hard for me to get into like a flow state using that app because i just feel like those constantly things happening things on the screen were being pressed with like the palm there's no palm rejection i tried my hardest to figure out where the heck the palm rejection was but i couldn't turn it on but i recorded most of my footage when i went to the river so i'm gonna show you that and and then i'll talk about my final thoughts of the little tablet So for my final drawing, I decided to take a picture of the water and I'm going to draw some of my OC characters from my comic book in the water 
and that'll be my final main drawing I did in this tablet. So here we go, here's a process. So I wanted to draw like a full illustrated design, but every time I would use any one of these drawing apps, I would get that palm rejection and it would be like little dots all over the screen. I would be accidentally clicking on things. So it was really hard to like focus and I felt like I was rushed. Like I just feel like I had to like finish the drawing. It was, it just wasn't like a, a good feeling while I was drawing. I just felt like get me off of this app already. Cause I can't, I could not figure out how to get it to work. And it was just making me want to finish the drawing faster. So I feel like I had to get it done like quick because if I didn't hurry up, all these buttons would keep pressing and it just makes everything take longer. And then like the flow, like I'm not used to like sketchbook or Android. So I was like clicking on things. I wasn't able to just navigate things quickly. So I was just having like a really hard time try, like trying to enjoy drawing. So I thought an easy thing to do would just to be take a picture of something and then just add my characters in. That way I have a full background and everything. But as you see, I add in my characters and I'm trying to add line art and the line art is all like wobbly and squiggly and I put on the stabilization for a little bit but I hate using the stabilization on my brushes uh, and it gave it like a weird it wasn't as wobbly but it still had like a little jitter to it and I just hated it you know what? I'm just gonna do how I do it when I sketch in my sketchbooks and I have like a sketchy scratchy line I like that anyways so that's what I'm gonna uh, I'm just gonna roll with it and that's what I ended up doing for this one but it was cool to change it up and try out different apps I tried out Ebis paint which I've used before but not that much and I did Metabang I believe and then I used Clip Studio and Sketchbook and there was one more something painter I forgot what it was called but all of them sucked because you needed a subscription fee and you could only use three layers one of them you could only use like two layers it was weird and I, I hated it. it made me so mad um I actually paid for sketchbook a long time ago but I think it's free now so I didn't even have to like sign in or anything or restore my purchases but uh, I love clip studio clip studio is probably my favorite I would say if you get an android tablet get clip studio but that subscription fee oh it's like four dollars a month or something like that or you can pay I think eighty dollars a year which is so stupid to me because I've bought clip studio multiple times and I feel like if you buy it on pc you should have it on the tablet version is just stupid. Anyways, Clip Studio is my favorite one. They have a doodle version where you can't save anything, so I doodled and here's a doodle that I did there. But I would have to say Clip Studio is my favorite. Uh, Sketchbook is a good second because it's free and it has a lot of brushes, has a lot of layers, and it's fun to use Sketchbook just to doodle because I use it on my phone just to like doodle. But I would say this tablet is the perfect doodling tablet. It's, I don't, I can't, I don't see myself getting, I don't see myself doing like commissioned work or like finalized work on here because I just cannot get it it's too small for me and I just cannot get it to like work properly I cannot figure out how to turn on palm rejection so you'll see a bunch of dots I keep saying this you'll see a bunch of dots all over my screen even in the final drawing I try to erase as many of them as I could but I cannot figure it out but my final thoughts for this tablet is I would not recommend it for anybody who's coming from a bigger tablet and they're looking to just downgrade to a smaller one because it's a cool tablet for like beginners but if you're used to like bigger screens or other tablets i wouldn't say to get this one because it would be like a downgrade i would say this one is perfect for anybody who's coming from traditional has not done digital yet and this is their first tablet i think this is a good first tablet for example like my niece draws so i would get her this and she would love it she wouldn't even need anything else but this and then my son he loves it i'll, I'll let him say his thoughts right now but he's like he doesn't use the ipad to draw or nothing like that so he this for him is like perfect he's able to just doodle and for me like when we're we went on our little trip i think it was cool just to bust it out and draw but to do final work i wouldn't i wouldn't do it so for the price it's only like 150 between 150 and 200 i think it's on sale right now i think it's like perfect so i would recommend if you have somebody in your life who's looking to try out digital and they haven't yet i would recommend this probably as like a gift for somebody to dabble with digital or somebody who just likes to doodle or take notes i would get this for them i feel like it's more affordable than the other tablets out there and it's made for drawing because it comes with a little pen and all that but but that's what i think uh i might just be too used to other luxurious tablets so this one just didn't work for me but uh let me let's hear what my son has to say about it what i like about the tablet is it starts up with like drawing apps for you and then we commend it with for you now what's your favorite drawing app to use in the on the tablet oh sketchbook 
sketchbook? Yeah. Well, I recommend it with all my friends. But I appreciate my artwork that I draw at school. Yeah, it's pretty okay because I have no password and it's like good for artists. So his final thoughts are he just thinks it's a good tablet for an artist. I think it's a good tablet for a beginner artist like him. I would give it like a 10 out of 10 for beginner artists, but for my use, I would say it's probably like a four out of 10 because it's good for doodling. It's not good for final work. In my opinion, I just couldn't get into my drawing mode with it. But I'm super grateful they even thought about me and sent me this. My son loves it. If it means anything to the company, my son loves it a lot. He's been using it every single day, literally every single day since I got it. And he takes it everywhere and it has that cool case on it. So he's dropped it multiple times. Like I don't even know how it's still working, how many times he's dropped it. But he's actually using it right now. My opinion, if they want any advice on marketing, I would market this as a beginner tablet or a kid's tablet, like something for, for the youngsters to get into drawing, to digital drawing. That's just my opinion. Cause I went to a little birthday party and a couple of the other kids were all into it using it. So if they to take my opinion on the marketing side of it uh, yeah i would i would market it towards beginners or kids that's just me though so if it means anything to you guys what he said i mean he kind of didn't really say anything but he loves it that's all you guys gotta know go ahead and check it out but if you're wanting it as an alternative for something you're already using like an ipad or something like that i would not i don't think it'd be a good enough alternative um but it's affordable though but for the price i think this thing is totally worth it so i hope you guys like the final drawing i had fun trying out new apps and new pens and all that stuff and doing something different i don't usually do it was pretty cool a breath of fresh air i guess people say i don't know anyways anyways shout out to front z for the tablet it's cool love it shout out to my patreons thank you for being here this month's sticker is going to be a pokemon related so if you guys want to join the sticker club that would be much appreciated. And also, we just hit 30,000 subs on YouTube, which is just mind-boggling to me. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you guys for all the positive comments. I hope you guys like this review. Uh, I try to be as in-depth as I could and show you guys the tools. So I hope I was able to capture that. And I can't wait to see you guys next Monday. So have a good one. Peace out. Happy summer. Summer break. Okay, bye. Peace out.